Hello everyone. This week's video is going to be a small pantry organization. As you can see, it's a disaster right now. I've been meaning to do this for a while. So I'm gonna be using containers and organizers that I already have. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna start by taking everything out to wipe the pantry. Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Drinks in my visa. Anywhere you want to go, baby, you just let me know. Sunny Indonesia. Don't say no. I don't have any more room to put the rest of the stuff on the counter, so I'm going to work on the first three rows first, and then I'm going to move on to the bottom two. I'm gonna vacuum all the crumbs first, then I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and an all-purpose cleaner and I'm gonna wipe everything. So I have a couple of these like stands I guess that I got from Walmart. I'm going to use them to utilize space and I also got those clear containers from Walmart. They are right under a dollar and they do come with lids but I'm not going to be using them. I'm also going to be using my label maker just because I really like the look of labels on there. Now I'm going to take the time to go through everything and see what's old and expired and get rid of it. Now that the shelves are clean, I'm going to be organizing everything in the containers and putting it back. I'm going to be moving stuff around so many times in the video, you're going to see. Because I have such a small pantry, so I kind of have to work around the space and make sure I'm able to fit everything back. Now I'm gonna start printing labels for everything. I found this glass container and the other one that has the crackers at Ross. Just 
And yes, that is a toothbrush holder that I'm using for toothpicks. There was a little room left in the container, so I added a couple of small items in there just so the hot sauces don't move around. I named the container in the middle open because it has open bags of leftover products in them. I tried to put stuff that we don't really use that much in the back and the stuff that we use the most in the front. Moving on to the bottom two shelves, I'm going to take everything out, clean the shelves, and organize everything back. I have liners on the rest of my shelves as you can see but I ran out so that's why the bottom one is kind of stained. This is what it looks like after it's all cleaned and organized. I'm really happy with it. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.